I am Miss Andamali and today I am going to talk about the past verbs. Earlier we talked about the past verb. The past verbs can be categorized as regular past verb and irregular past verbs. Today I am going to talk about the regular past verbs. When we consider about the past verb, regular past verb, regular past verb can be formed in various methods. Okay? The first method is the base method. We add ed to the base verb. Then sometimes we add only d. I'll uh, explain you how to do that. And the third method, adding ied to some base verbs. And there are some more points we have to talk about that. And the last method, you have to double the last set of the base verb. Then you have to add ed. Okay? Let's talk about this each method. Okay? Separately. I'll show you about everyone with examples, okay? If you look at the screen, you can see some verbs. These are the actions that we do, okay? The first one, the first method we use to form the past verb is add ed to the base verb. When there is a base verb, you can add ed. Since our childhood, we learned these methods, okay? This is the base method of forming past regular past verbs. To each word I'll show you here, you can add ed to be, form the past tense verb. Then let's go to the second method. There are some words, the, some regular past verb, they end with e. At the end of the word there is e, so we should not add e again. We should add only d. First you have to write the base verb, c l o s e. There is E, so we add only D to the end of the base verb. And if you go to the third method, you can see this word sounds shortly. Crap, chop, tap, stop, sip like that. And with a short sound, short pronunciation, there is a vowel before each last letter. Before P, you can see A. Before P, you can see A. Before G, you can see A. Like that. Before the last letter, there is a vowel. To such word, we double the last letter and add ED to form the past verb. Okay? I think you get the point. And next one. When the word ends with Y and there is a consonant before the Y. Consonant means non-vowel. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Other letters are called consonants. Then when there is consonant before y, we can change y into i and add d. Or you can remove y, then there is only cr, then add ied. fr, remove y, cut y and add ied. But look here, when there is a vowel before y, when there is a vowel before y, just add ed like we did in the first method. But there should be a vowel before y. Okay. These are the methods, various methods to form regular past words. Okay. Now I think it is clear to you how to form a regular past word. Now, I think there is no any difficult things to form this uh, regular past word if you touch the points. Let's meet uh, again with another video. Uh, to talk about such a grammar point and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and always be contacted with us. Okay, until we meet then, goodbye to everybody.